Chintu, please press the button on the uh, mobile and switch off the video. Now I have to fucking put this on in short and join the two together, which I did not want to do. I wanted this to just be. <laughs> I wanted this to just be one video, long video. I'm sitting in the living room right now because my room is just it's uninhabit uninhabitable. It's just it's the kitten's room. It's not my room anymore, and that has also been weighing on me a lot. You know, I just don't feel happy in that room anymore. I'm not saying I regret these fuckers. I don't at all. This is gonna be a while before I feel happy about things again, feel excited about things again. So yeah, I'm just gonna spend tonight watching something, maybe calming. I was watching a few vlogs. I watched Lin's vlog. I watched Arya Key's vlog. I'll watch a couple more maybe. I watched Ghana yet today. I'm gonna sit with a drink and maybe a smoke. I have cut down. I really have a lot. I don't even feel the urge to smoke anymore. It's only you know days like this where I'm really feeling like in a slump. That a smoke would actually make me feel a bit better. So I deserve it. I don't smoke on regular days anymore. So that's great. Tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow something really exciting is happening that I've been looking forward to for a week now. Nat, Sachin and I are going to meet Aishu and Taha in Navi Mumbai. They live in Khargar, and Sachin and I, uh, Sachin's gonna drive, so we're taking his car, and it's gonna be so much fun because we're gonna go for an overnight thing. And we've never been to Aishu's place, and she's a really cool place from what she's told us. She's like a record player. That reminded me that I told Ronak that I'm going to Aishu's place and he really likes record players. Like he's obsessed with them in a way. Like when we went to Adagio, why did we go to Adagio? Ha! Huh, for the for my pop up, he came there, and more than the pop up and supporting me, he was excited by the record player. So he just went and sat there next to the record player and he was staring at it, and we, ch- the guy who owns the place, gave us the liberty to change the records and he showed us how to do it. So. We changed the records and we put different songs and stuff. So he was very fascinated by it. So he told me it's called a turntable, and he the way he he became he like one second. What are you doing? Puppy is really the naughtiest one, yar. I don't know what he's doing, but look at him standing there. Kya kar raha hai wahan pe tu? Okay, sit. Yeah, so yeah, he got very excited when I said that Aishu has a record player. She has a shisha machine at home. She has a, just a really cool house, you know. Like I really want, I really idolize their relationship. I really want that what they have. Aishu and Taha, like they're both. It's so obvious that they're both soulmates. They're both so fucking funny, so chill, so friendly. It's it's not always that you get along this well with your girlfriend's colleagues. Like we're not even friends that close outside of work, you know. Like when we're not working together the rest of the year, we don't really meet that much. She is a friend. She is a very good friend. She was part of my birthday video, and I consider all those people my friends, not just my colleagues. But you know what I'm saying? He gets along with us so well. Like I could hang out with Taha without an issue. Like it's that we're that comfortable with each other, and we've only like met three or four times in our whole lives. Maybe not even four times, three times I think. He comes to all of the drinking parties that we have, and we love having him there. And their chemistry is so good. They're always joking off of each other. I really want that. I I think that is one of my ideal couple. Uh, yeah, scenarios. Just how funny they both are. Just, that's just you know. And you know that the what I like about them is their best friends first. And I can it's so obvious you can tell that because when I hang out with other couples sometimes I feel like they're more and there's nothing wrong about it. But with them you don't feel like you're hanging out with a couple. You feel like you're hanging out with a pair of best friends that just know each other so well. 
they're not like um, I don't know how to describe it. Like I'm th- thinking about Anisha and Danvano. They are also not very touchy feely in public. Aishwita ha also are not. But Anisha and Danvano are so non touchy touchy feely that you almost feel like is there really something there? There was only like once or twice that I've seen them being touchy feely, and that was really heartwarming also because it's like these guys do have that chemistry. They just, they just keep it private and to themselves, which is really nice in a way. Like it's something only they both share and they both know about. And I found that also very, you know, what's the word? Sweet, I guess. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited for tomorrow. I'm going to leave the kittens with De- uh, with Desmond. I'm so fucking glad that Desmond is also there here close by. It's like this place that I live in is just ideal, you know. What more could I ask for? I have Anisha at a 30 seconds distance. It's not even a minute, you know. If I walked really fast, I could reach there in less than 30 seconds. I have Desmond who sells us plants for cheap and fosters kittens. Like, who thought of that combination and giving that combination to me, someone who loves plants and cats? Like, you combine that into one person who is so fucking ador- like sweet and I was gonna say adorable. Desmond is not adorable. He's an old guy. Um, but yeah, he's adorable in a way, like a grandpa way, you know. And he was like, yeah, of course you can leave them here. And he was like, of course I'll. When I talked, when I asked him, you know, how much will you charge? He's like, no, don't say like that. You will obviously get a discount. And I really don't want a discount. He already has a really huge heart. <laughs> But yeah, like I was saying, I cannot find a place more perfect than this. My The market is literally a minute away from me where I can find literally anything, everything that I want is in the market. I have Priya auntie right here. I live on Hill Road where I can get all the clothes I ever want right in a minute's reach. It's just, I don't know how I found this place, but I have a terrace that has a great view of Bandra. There's literally nothing more I could ask for. Suchan lives five minutes away from me. Nattu used to live five minutes away from me. This week Priya auntie was telling us that they had the meeting where they've decided that the building is going to go in for redevelopment and some very important documents that were halting the whole thing have been signed, which means that it's going to go ahead now. It will still take some time, but now it's not in that limbo anymore, you know, it's it's finalized. Which makes me really sad and I try not to think about it as far as possible because I don't want to move to another place. It probably might not be as bad, but it will be bad. It will be bad leaving this place. Not just for this house, but for the location. I might not be close to Anisha anymore and I know we'll still be in Bandra but there's a certain kind of comfort and ease that comes with living 30 seconds away you know that's why we meet so often because it's just so convenient and maybe that won't happen anymore I know our friendship is going to survive like a five minute distance it's not like 30 seconds and five minutes will be such a big obstacle but I can at 11 o'clock decide, okay, now I want to go and sleep over at Anisha's, you know. I hope that would still be the case with wherever we move to. I definitely don't want to go beyond uh, this area of Bandra. Like, I don't even want to go as far as, I don't know, Khar. I don't want to go to Khar. I have, and I don't know, the thought of not living close to auntie is also very, very disturbing to me. I don't want to live without, it's not even the food, you know, it's not even the food aspect that I'm scared about. It's part of it, but it's, the major reason is I just don't want to live anywhere far away from her. She's such a huge support system. She's someone I rely on so much. I just, I can't bear the thought of not being close to them. Anisha and Priya auntie, so. I'll miss everything about this place. I'll miss being so close to the market. I'll have to actually travel to go to a market. It won't be as easy as stepping out for a five minute run. 
And I don't know how now. I, now that I think about it, I don't know how people that don't live close to a market do it. You know, and I don't even fucking buy groceries. I don't cook. Why do I need groceries? I don't need groceries, but still, the market is so fucking helpful. Anyway, until all those things get finalized, I, I'm not even coming to a part where I have to house hunt all over again. Find a nice house in my budget. What if I don't find something in my budget? What am I gonna do? You know. And it's awkward house hunting. Like, how to decide who gets the better room? How do you make all those decisions? And uh, with this house, I found it first, and I made the call to take the room, so it was easy. I didn't have a flatmate to consider back then. But now Aishwarya is going to be there. We're going to be house hunting together. What if I like a place that she doesn't? What if I want a room that she wants? It's just going to be so complicated, and I just wish I could just live alone. I know I keep saying that I want to live alone, and I know that I shouldn't be too deluded about it because there are some days when I feel really, really. I do feel really lonely. I do fucking love being alone more than I love being around Aishwarya or a flatmate. But there are times where I'm so glad that she's there, that I get to chill with her after work. I get to have a drink with her, have a smoke with her, go to the terrace and dance with her. That she's there to take care of Timiki also, very practically speaking. That I get to chill with her and Ashish and you know have that fun time where it feels like you're living with your friend. <laughs> And it feels very mature to be living with your friend and hanging out with their boyfriend or whatever. I think even though I love living alone that much, I don't think I should do it. Maybe I should do it to, you know, get that life experience. But while I have Aishwarya around, I shouldn't. Not yet. Because I think I do need that support at the end of the day. I do need that company. It is that presence of someone else being in the house. I think as much as I would love being alone for the first few months maybe, after a point I think I would really crave having someone around just to chill with, just to laugh with, just to sit around and have a conversation with, to talk to, you know. I did live alone for like a month and a half after Anisha moved out and I know I was already in a very sad phase then because her moving out was really tough on me and finding someone else was really tough on me. Circumstances would have been different if I wasn't already in that depressed mood. But when I tried it out then I realized that as much as I like it I also am can be very lonely if I don't have my friends around. So yeah I probably should not live alone just yet I hope whatever house we find next will be such that there will be privacy in both the rooms hey leave now like there will be a passage that will lead separately to the hall and separately to the room that's what I was looking for initially when I was looking for this house but I didn't find anything really good in my range, so I had to go with this, thankfully. Thankfully it came to this, but yeah. Anyway, I don't know how I went on such a different tangent. I'm just saying that I'm excited for tomorrow, excited to not have these fucking babies, literal babies, for 24 hours. And I'll be just be hanging out with my friends and drinking and laughing and having a great time exploring a new part of the city. Not that we'll be exploring, but I've never been to Navi Mumbai before. The farthest I've been to Navi Mumbai is Vashi and Panvel Station. To go to other places from Panvel Station, not even like hung out in Panvel or anything. I have never had a friend from Navi Mumbai. That is... I don't know, it's quite shocking, I guess. Why have I never had a friend from Navi Mumbai? So yeah, we're gonna have fun. We're also going to go to a Bandra 
East Indian market that's happening tomorrow at Andrews cafeteria before we go to this place before we go to Khargar I'm excited for the drive even though I'm not very big on cars like I don't like car rides as much as I like the idea of a road trip like how they do it in the movies you know road tripping to Goa and being with your friends all the time I would not want to do it in a car I hate cars I hate cars I have such bad car sickness and motion sickness that it's very tough for me and I hate the whole sitting in one position for the whole ride thing I much 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 more prefer trains they're so comfortable so yeah let's see how it goes it's gonna be like a two hour drive tomorrow I think with traffic and all because we're leaving in the evening it's not like we can go early in the morning so Saturday evening traffic is gonna be bad um, thankfully I'm not the one driving so I don't really have to take much of the stress all I have to do is sit in my seat and play some music and go to sleep maybe lol I, okay no I won't sleep that'll be really rude but yeah I'm really looking forward to tomorrow I'm so glad that we've maintained our friendships with these people like we've known our issues since 2019 now and in 2022 we're still going strong enough to like go to her house and you know have a sleepover even though we don't work together anymore so I'm glad that wherever wherever I've worked as far as possible I guess I've tried to make friends that I still can keep in touch with Mami ke sari log se I've kind of lost touch with except Shatakshi even her I've lost touch with but she still invited me to a wedding which I'm very happy glad about but I have to meet her soon She's moved to Borivli with her husband now, so she's in Bombay after years. She's not been here for a very long time since Mami. No, Mami ke baad she did that thing with Veda where they produced a film and she was doing some kind of art festival. Natu might remember from the Mumbai Collective. She was, they had performed that dance thingy, remember? Not dance, it was like a skit she was part of that she wasn't there but she was part of that dance thingy so yeah since then she has not been in bombay for like over two years now yeah well over two years so three years almost i guess two and a half years so yeah i need to hang out with her i need to i want to maintain that friendship that relationship i don't want her to feel like it's one-sided and that she invited me to her wedding but I can't even stay in touch you know and it's not like that I actually enjoy her company a lot so yeah I just want to revive some friendships keep some friendships going as I get older I think I'm realizing more and more that it is very crucial to keep in touch with friends becoming harder and harder to meet new people and make new friends you know I'm glad that Nattu being my best friend is so I don't know how to say it but I'm so glad she's okay with me just borrowing her brother and making him my friend it's just there's such a comfort level there that it's it's nice like I I really enjoy having him as a friend and I like that I'm able to make new friends even now in spite of being in a pandemic and not really having going to work so that's one less avenue to meet people when I went when we went for the comedy show the other day there were two girls who'd come and uh, the host asked them how they met and they said they met on Bumble BFF which is really cool like I have tried Bumble BFF but I never really I made a profile there and I never really swiped on anybody or talked to anyone but I'm thinking now maybe I should, you know. I like making new friends. I like having people diff- people with like such different lives and different opinions and people to talk to things about. About things. 